Hello, Shannon Bryant, Virtual and Blended Learning Coordinator for Keller ISD. Uh, this is the first video in this new series I'm doing about discussions in online learning. So in this first video, we'll talk to you about the videos that I have coming up in this series. That way you can decide what you wanna learn about and do it when you wanna learn about it. I picked discussions because as many teachers are experiencing online learning this year for the first time, I often hear, I miss the discussions. And students can still have discussions. It may look different and sound different, but we will explore four different ways in the series that you can do just that. So we're going to look at a discussion board where you can see all students uh, having their conversation on one board. Uh, then we're going to look at uh, giving discussion posts for feedback. Then we'll ha have a discussion over a website, so when I want students to learn from a website. And then discussion for the sake of collaborating. Maybe students are working on a project together. So let's do The why you want to look at this super cool, super wonderful strategy uh, where you have your whole class on one screen is because of scrolling. Most LMSs, we use a Google Classroom and Cam, and most of those LMSs, you have to scroll, but scroll back and forth to see your whole class and really get a good idea of how that discussion is going. I got this great idea from the fabulous, the wonderful Alice Keeler. If you are not following her, you need to. She's amazing. I wish I could take credit but I just can't. So I will be dem demoing the way she uses Google Sheets, but I have done similar things with Padlet and Nearpod as well. When do you want to do this? Well, this is really that point in your lesson where that questioning and going back and forth between your students is really the main focus. They are learning from that conversation that they're having. Now we know every conversation they have in your class, they're learning from. But we're talking about where the intent of that conversation is to walk away with a clear understanding, and that is the only. Sometimes you need kids to give each other feedback. Well, you need to be able to give the whole room feedback, and we just can't make 30 of you. So this gives you the ability to have students give each other feedback and then have some time to maybe complete a project or an assignment before they turn it in. So I have uh, done this in Google Sheets and I have done it in Nearpod and you can also do it with Padlet. The demo I'll be doing in this video, in the video to follow, <laughs> is uh, with Google Sheets. Discussion over a website. I think what I love the most about this strategy is that it almost creates a little paperclip form of the teacher to be right there on the website when the kid needs it. It's an amazing tool. We are going to use Insert Learning uh, to do this. You can do similar things with Nearpod and Google Jamboard, but I just really am digging the insert. It gives you the ability to control that conversation uh, and to continue it and monitor that conversation. And this is used when you want students to discuss specific information that's organized on a website. It can be your own. Discussion for the sake of collaborating. This is where the goal of the conversation with kids is to produce a product. Now we know they're going to learn from that experience, right? But the real goal there is for them to collaborate to come up with some product. Uh, so I've given you some different options, but I will be demoing this with Google Slides. And when do you want to do it? Well, anytime that they need to talk over a task. So as opposed to just having a conversation to see if they're on the right track with things, that would be the first way. This is, I'm giving you a specific thing that you have to accomplish. Maybe it's creating a slide or a video or a website together. Whatever it is, I need you to collaborate together to get that done. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, like it, subscribe, check out the rest of the videos in this series. Oh, they're amazing.